like if you were to do a timeline from when you started, what are the high points? Oh, um, gosh, I don't know, so many of them. <laughs> and they just keep getting higher and higher. I well, mean, all the, the new office openings are really high points. I mean, getting Kevin Hockwood his first job and getting him working with uh, Stephen Mizell as a you know, a guy with very few pictures in his book, that was definitely a high point. Um, often I feel like a lot of the high points are, I don't realize how high they are at that time until I look back at them, you know. But you seem, for ruling an empire, you seem very humble and accessible. I'm accessible, for sure. I do like to stay accessible. I mean, um, you know, a lot of my new young photographers I found just came from Facebook, just from chatting with strangers on Facebook. Um, <laughs> How do you find the time? Because you have, I know you have good people working for you, but nonetheless, you're the one that has to oversee everything in the end. It's also so, what I enjoy, you know, you yeah. just, you just manage to find time to do the things that you enjoy doing and connecting with people and networking and meeting new people is something I really enjoy. And when's your birthday again? You don't have to get the year. So you're Capricorn or yeah. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Capricorn, I guess, yeah. Not that I believe in any of that, but yeah. You don't? No. Really? No. So you don't believe in Chinese I don't signs really either? I don't believe in the Chinese sign either. I'm an ox, if you want to know. But, an yeah. ox, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So what do you believe in? Uh, I'm much more science-based. I don't believe yeah. in homeopathic medicines. I don't believe in, uh, you know, uh, astrology or anything. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, getting to more practical, since you're traveling all the time, what are your secrets for staying fresh? Oh, I don't know. It's tough, I no? don't really have to. Because you haven't yet. aged in, when I must have met you 27, something like that, years ago. Yeah, I mean, I know. And you I look think the your memory is a little faulty, because I really don't look the same. I can pull out some pictures if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you really haven't aged yeah. seriously. I really have no secrets whatsoever. No secrets. Yeah. No. Lots of drinking and smoking. Yeah. yeah. But I guess you just have good genes. Must be it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And your daily routine, you like, you said you, you like to walk to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's really a great luxury. Yeah. You obviously love people. Yeah. Do you need much time by yourself or you don't I like I enjoy time by myself from time yeah. to time. Yeah. Do you, yeah. What do you like to do when you're not ruling the empire? Uh, I have my country house in upstate New York, which I love. Where um, is it exactly? It's a little town called Palinville. Yeah, do um, it's Palinville? Great, yeah, in Green Anything County. to do with Palinville? No, 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 don't even mention that. <laughs> um, no, the town's been there quite a long time. Uh, it's, in the, it's close to Catskill, uh -huh. and it's a beautiful old house from... Something like that. Um, it's a concrete castle that a wow. kind of crazy guy built back then. But it's really beautiful, um, especially in the summertime. I love having friends there. I love entertaining. I love cooking. Um, what are some wines. of your favorite dishes? Oh, um, I mean, I do a lot of French stuff, but like really simple traditional French stuff. I love a good old American barbecue. I do quite a few different Italian things. I, well, as much as I love Japanese food, I you know can't really go there. No, that's that's, that's, that's you have to be another culture to commitment yeah. to learn that. Yeah, um, I love wine. I have a huge wine cellar up there with about four thousand bottles in it. Um, love four thousand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when I get into something and start collecting, I kind of go overboard. Yeah. But the great thing about wine is that um, you it collect it with age. and then you use it actually, yeah. and you share it with your friends. So, That's great. Rather than collecting physical sort of things that you end up with too much stuff, the wine you use it up. What's the oldest bottle? You use? Oh, I mean, I think uh, it's probably a Madeira, and I think I have some Madeira from like 1812 or something like that. Wow, yeah. what is it like? What does it taste like? Well, Madeira, once it's you know, it's once it's bottled, it doesn't age anymore. Uh -huh. You know, Madeira is a very really? very sweet. Wine, yeah. 
But it's a, it's a high alcohol. That's the secret. Once yeah. it's bottled, <laughs> let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Let's you have to, you have to change the corks about every 50 years. Uh, the corks really? will deteriorate, but yeah. Wow, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. And when did you get into that? Was it like traveling through France? Or? Um, that was a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a big part of it. I only really got into it maybe five years ago or something, but yeah. And if you were to pick some place you've never been that you'd love to go, where would it be? Oh, um, gosh. You know, a big focus for me right now is Latin America. As much as I've traveled all throughout Asia and Europe and Australia and so many other places, I haven't made it past uh, Costa Rica in that direction. So it's, and I love Costa Rica. So, I mean, that's... That's a real focus for me next is someplace I want Bogota. to go. Bogota. Haven't been to, haven't been to Colombia, haven't been to Argentina, haven't been to uh, uh, Brazil. Yeah. Wow. So, so, God, there might be an office opening in Bogota or Sao Paulo. Could be. Could Maybe be. Sao Paulo could be safer than Bogota. I don't, I don't know. know. I have to investigate. I'm going to check them out. But <laughs> I have to oh. decide. So if somebody wanted to start out um, to represent people, be an agent, what would, would you give any advice? I don't know, it's really difficult for me to say. I mean, I'm really happy I started at the time I started, because mm -hmm. there weren't really other big agencies mm -hmm. at that point. I mean, Art and Commerce started a bit before me, but by today's standard, they would be considered a really small agency. But, really? Um, yeah. I don't envy the people who are starting out new agencies right now. Um, it's not easy. But, I mean, the main thing is, you know, start in your local market and start with some people that you really represent. You know, really, really uh, uh, believe in their work um, and, you, uh, and learn your market. Learn what people are looking for. You know, if you're going to represent photographers, you need to know about photography and the history of photography. You don't have to know so much about the technical side. But, you know, you need to, you need to represent people who are in a field that you have a personal feeling for. Sounds good. Well, yeah. thank you. All right. My pleasure. And here we are not in a fifth floor walk-up. This is just one room out of how many here? How uh, many square well, meters? Two. I don't know. I never really keep track of that. A lot. I'll show you around. Yeah. Okay. Great. Maybe I'll just walk around with this. <clears throat> Whose pictures do we have here? Um, this is my mother-in-law. Uh, uh, Pat Horner, yeah, my boyfriend's mother, okay. Pat Horner. So you're married? Uh, not legally, but we've been together for like 15 years, so that's might as well long. be. Yeah, that's Philippe Cometti. This is a little thing that I just found at a flea market. Here. I love it. Um, that's Will McBride. Beautiful. Yeah, and then there's the our little living room here. Who's here? That's Bettina Reims. Very nice. Very sexy. Here we are in the little meeting room. Yeah, fortunately we had some leaks from upstairs. So it's always, nice. there's yeah. Paris, it's plumbing yeah. problems. Yeah. Here's <laughs> the entry. That's Simon Proctor. That's, uh, I think that was the first Chanel show that uh, they did at the Grand Palais. Ah, it's so great. Yeah. Etienne Rousseau, I think, maybe. Or yeah. Alexander de Batac, I guess. Accountants back there. Everybody's out to lunch. There's usually actually people working. That's great. <laughs> but this is the hair, makeup, and stylist department. Wow. And you found all your French people here, or you brought some from New York? No, or? they're all here. Uh, I mean, since then, one or two have uh, transferred. And this is the photography department. Hi. And that's Tui, our producer. Yes. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Great. God, it's endless here. There's the book. And what's back here? That's back where we started. My office again. God, that's yeah. great. We walked in a circle. I love it.